Here is our Legends Ford. We want to use some carbon fiber to save weight and look cool. We are going to use the carbon fiber spec map effect 3.0 content created by Simon Ermisch. This is a high quality texture which also uses spec map effects to enhance the result. We apply the carbon effect using three layers. A normal paint texture. A red metallic spec map texture. A green roughness spec map texture. The video description has a link to a zip file containing the carbon fiber spec map effect 3.0 content. If your spec map is a grayscale spec map, use the grayscale files. If your spec map is an RGB spec map, use the RGB files. We need to decide what will be carbon. On most cars this would normally be the wing. On our Legends Ford we are going to make the removable panels carbon. The bonnet and the boot or trunk hatch. We need to create layers that isolate these parts. Zoom in on the bonnet. We will create a path around the bonnet. Use the tools, path menu option to turn the path tool on. Then click to create path points. You can search YouTube for GIMP path tutorials to learn how to use the path tool. Outside the paint area we don't need to be accurate. Inside the paint area we do need to be accurate. Click selection from path. Create a new layer. Name it bonnet. Ensure it is transparent. Make the foreground color white. Select the flood or bucket fill tool. With the bonnet layer selected, click inside our selection. Use Shift Ctrl A to remove the selection. Press B to turn off the path tool. I will demonstrate a different method for the boot hatch. Zoom in on the boot area. Use the Rectangle Selection tool to select the boot hatch. This method works well on wings but the boot hatch has rounded corners, so we would normally put more effort into this selection, but this is just a quick demonstration. Create a new layer. Name it Boot. Ensure it is transparent. Make the foreground color white. Select the Flood or Bucket Fill tool. With the bonnet layer selected, click inside our selection. Use Shift Ctrl A to remove the selection. Now we have two layers that identify areas that are to be carbon, that is their only purpose. Put them into a group to make it easy to use all the carbon parts in one step. We can add or remove parts inside this group at a later date. Create a group named Carbon. Put the parts group into the Carbon group. Drag the Carbon Paint Texture JPEG image into the Carbon group. The carbon paint texture is the same size as the car template, it has covered everything. It's okay because we are going to mask the carbon layer at the group level. Right mouse click on the carbon parts layer, click alpha to selection. This creates a selection from all visible areas inside the carbon parts group. Right mouse click on the carbon group layer. Select add mask layer. Ensure the selection option is chosen. And there we have it, carbon only on the parts we want to be carbon. 
export the car paint and view it in the car viewer. It looks okay, but we can get even better results via the spec map. Within our RGB spec map, within the red metallic group, create a group between the base and parts layer, name it carbon. Drag the carbon red metallic or GB file into this group. Our carbon part selection is still active. Right mouse click on the carbon group, select add mask layer, ensure the selection option is chosen. Within the green roughness group, Create a group between the base and parts layer, name it Carbon. Drag the Carbon Green Roughness RGB file into this group. Our Carbon Parts selection is still active. Right mouse click on the Carbon group, select Add Mask Layer, ensure the selection option is chosen. Now export the spec map to the paint folder. Then use the car viewer to see the result. The key aspects of this technique are 1. Using an excellent carbon texture and spec map effect from Simon Ermisch. 2. There is only one copy of each carbon texture which keeps the project size and complexity low. The carbon textures are masked to only be visible over the areas we want to be carbon. 3. Having a group with all our parts layers enables us to add, alter or delete the carbon parts and then recreate masks easily and quickly. 